Hello everyone, it's Ragebit, and today I'm sharing with you my five best tips and tricks for getting better at eco. Let's get started. Tip number one, learn those hotkeys. Learning hotkeys is going to make the game easier and much more efficient for you. The most common ones that people use are holding shift to sprint, space to jump, and on occasion, pressing control and holding it down for that sneaky kind of slow approach. Arguably the most important keys are those that are gonna help you with inventory management. So we're gonna take a little bit of time to talk about these. If you hold shift, and drag everything across, it will allow you to transport all of one item across to another stockpile. Holding shift and control will allow you to transfer everything in one stockpile or cart over to another one. If you just want one item, you can hold control and left click. If you want half a stack, hold alt and left click. Or if you want to be really fancy and choose your own adventure or amount, hold down shift left click and pick whatever amount you want. While we're talking about inventory management, sometimes stockpiles are a little bit too far away. So it's a good idea to carry a cart so you can put it in the middle and you can use it as kind of a transfer buffer or to increase your transfer range. Tip number two, know your admin commands. Now what I mean by this is you can type slash and do a few things. Some of them are admin locked, but the most common ones are slash unstuck and slash free car. Let's have a look at how they both work. Slash unstuck is great for when you get stuck underground or you don't really know where you are. If you press slash unstuck, it will take you straight up to the top of a building. Slash free car is great for when your car kind of goes off the edge, it's in an awkward position and you don't know what to do. As long as you're looking at the vehicle and you type slash free car, your vehicle will come straight back up to a nice flat location and if you're really lucky, you'll be able to drive away like I do in this video. But sometimes you'll have to empty the car out, pick it up and move it back to the road to get it to work. All right, tip number three, food and housing points matter a lot. And I mean a lot. Let's talk about food first. You can improve your food skill point gain in three main ways. The first is by balancing your diet. An equal amount of carbs, protein, fat and vitamins is best. Next, it's best to eat a variety of different foods. The greater the variety of foods, the higher the variety bonus. And finally, the tastiness bonus. This refers to eating foods that your character actually likes. And you get additional bonuses for satisfying cravings. All characters crave, like or hate different foods. The only way to find out which foods your character likes is to try them all. Once you've tried a food, your character will form an opinion of that food. If they find it better than anything, delicious or good, then your tastiness bonus will adjust by 30, 20 or 10%. If your character thinks a food is bad, horrible or worse than anything, expect to see a reduction similar to those amounts. Let's talk about housing now. Housing is another great way to improve your skill point gain multiplier. Unlike food, Housing skill points do not require constant input. Instead, they focus on the quality of items and the amount of items that you have in your house. Build the highest tier house that you can and fill it with the best items you can afford. If items repeat, you incur a deduction. Housing is divided into four main rooms or categories. You've got the bathroom, the bedroom, a general room, and the kitchen. The more items that you have in these rooms, and the better the quality of those items, and the tier level of your house, the higher your skill point multiplier for housing will be. There are many different guides on this, but as the guides change frequently, it is best just to try to fill your house with quality things and experiment. As a general rule, try to add rugs and lighting to each room as well. Tip number four, upgrade modules. Upgrade modules come in three types, basic, advanced, and modern. When you insert them into a table, they decrease the resource cost and crafting time by 10, 25, 40, 
or even 45%, depending upon what level upgrade you have. In short, upgrades save you time and money, so you should install them as quickly as possible. Tip number five, get involved in the community. One of the greatest things about Eco is that there's so many players that you can share experiences and create new projects with. Make sure that you join your server's Discord. Help build roads, bridges, or other community projects. This game is best played when there are lots of active players. So get online and get involved. So that's it. That's my five best tips and tricks. We've explored hotkeys, admin commands, food and housing upgrades, upgrade modules, and getting involved in the community. Let me know what your favorite tip was, or if you've learned something new. Or even better, if you have a tip of your own, put it in the comments below. I'm Ragebit, and you just watched 5 Best Tips in Eco.